What's up guys? Welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption video. Today we're going to be looking at a train wreck that has some gold bars inside of it. So in total with all the collective things inside we can get up to $1100 in this game. Which in a sense you can buy a couple things with that. You can get a couple guns with it. So first you're going to want to come over to this location just right on top of the train tunnel. And then, yeah, so this is exactly where it's going to be. And I'm going to zoom out for everybody, those who don't know where we're at. Or up in Amberino. So basically, you just want to come over here to that ledge right over there. Alright, let's get it going. Look at that view. Right, Dead Redemption did a good job with that. So basically, you just want to crouch, come down here, try not to fall. Alright, John, get back up. So then you just want to stick as close as possible to the cliff, try not to fall down. Because if not, you're going to ruin the whole thing and you have to start all over and I'm not walking you through that. It's going to be a one-time thing. And then you just want to jump over over here to the side. Try not to fall because I almost did. Look at that. Alright, so where are we going? I hear the train coming. Now you just want to keep coming down here and you got to jump over a huge cliff so be prepared. Alright, now that we got over that cliff, we're gonna have to come all the way over here. And like I said, try to stick as close as possible to the cliff. Don't try falling. Alright. So then, we're gonna need to do a little bit more jumping. So you're gonna wanna get on top of this. And then you're gonna wanna go on the other side of that. Alright, let's see if that get it the first time. Alright, John, let's see how strong your hops are. Oh, oh, I missed. Oh, shit. And we ruined the whole purpose. Nah, I'm just playing. So you basically you have to fall down there, and then this is where we're actually going to have to jump. See, that leads to nothing. Right here is where we're going to have to jump. Alright, let's get it going. Ah, he made it, he made it. So there you have it. Here is a train wreck, and we're just going to be looking inside of it, and it's right under the bridge. Alright, uh, let's see what we can find inside of it. If you were just go inside. So the first thing you're going to be seeing right here is the gold bars. You're going to see some tonics, some pirate rum, and some valetarian root. You know, the valetarian root can be used to craft stuff, you know, for the valetarian fire bottles. The valetarian dynamites. So we have some gold bars, I can't pick those up, I'm already stocked up on cartridges for my revolver. There's another gold bar right here, and these are all large gold bars. And large gold bars are worth $500, and we just found two of them. So let's see what else we can find in this train wreck. Alright, let's get to exploring, let's see John Marston. But the second clue would be in the last, second to last train cart. And then you would just go inside. Ain't nothing over here. You know, the bare left. You're going to be seeing this large chest and you're going to want to inspect it. And inside of it, you're going to have some bill folds, some coin purse, and I believe it's a gold nugget inside there. Let's see. Yeah, we got a large jewelry bag, a bill fold, and a coin sack. And some more bill folds. So then that all accumulates to $1,100. And then you can just go to the fence, you know, cash that in, or you can keep it for further use. Say so you don't want to use it now, but you might need money later. You can do that. I do that sometimes. It was very useful. All right, let's see what else is over here. Let's see if there's anything in the last cart. that we could just get over it. It looks like we can get inside of it. You know, we're just going to figure this out. And like I said, if you did not get this in the first try, reaching this train wreck, you're a complete dumbass. You don't know how to play this game. I suggest you just to stop watching right now. No, I'm just kidding. I need to subscribe, guys. Alright. There's nothing inside of here. So, I guess we're just going to head on over to the fence. Alright, let's see what's on the other side of this before we... Okay, it looks like 
it looks like we could have gotten here an easier way instead of going through the cliffs. I guess we would just come come down this ridge. But this is Red Dead Redemption. Everything is complicated in this game. Let off a warning shot. The treasure has been found up in the Grizzlies. So like I said, we're gonna head on over to the fence. It's right over an Emerald Ranch. I don't know why they call it Emerald Ranch. It's a piece of shit ranch. Horse shit everywhere. Ain't nothing there. Literally, Seamus is like the only nigga you can talk to in this. Alright, so here we are, we've arrived at Emerald Ranch. Nothing resembles Emerald. There's all horse shit everywhere. This place is a landfill. I don't know, the only good use we have is the fence here in the middle of nowhere. And as usual, this game is glitchy. There's usually the table here, and now there's a floating candle. So we're gonna be cashing in what we found at the train wreck up in Amberino. That small gold nugget wasn't what we found, but I needed to cash it in. So two large gold bars. You sell both of them, you get a thousand dollars. So let's go ahead and do that. We also found a large jewelry bag, which is worth fifty dollars. And so with the purse, the billfolds that we found, and everything in there, it all added up Hello, to eleven hundred dollars. So if you need money, there's a spot where you can go. So there you have it, guys. The train wreck. Hit him with gold and money. 